All right, we're over at uh, 24690 somewhere street on Oak Park. Started off here in the basement. It looks like the uh, furnace and hot water tank are in good condition. There is copper plumbing here. The water meter reading is 047888. I've looked through everything and uh, everything is trash. There's really no value to anything that I can that I can see. There's a workspace area here. I've looked in all the drawers. There's nothing in there. Same thing with these. Nothing in these drawers. The electrical box is currently unsafe and we should bid to have that taken care of. Um, that's roughly, uh, I'm going to say $400 to bid that. And then if, if that gets approved, send uh, our Wadsworth electrical company. I'm heading upstairs slowly. Here's the kitchen. The kitchen cabinets are actually in good condition. Now this house did have an addition at one time because this, this part of the kitchen used to face outside and then there was an addition later on, which then you can, this is sort of the breezeway and we'll get over there in a minute. So this that I'm standing in right now would probably be the uh, dining room. There's a missing light, fi missing light fixture up here. We also need to uh, probably bid to either cover the light switches and then tie some of these together so it's not an electrical uh, hazard. So there's one of those and I'll notice those throughout and I'll let you know. So dining space. Floors are actually in good condition. However, uh, a touch up here in the, you know, finishing these uh, floors uh, would be nice. Most of the house has a lot of the uh, original woodwork, which does make it nice. Here's a fireplace. There's a living room. The bathroom is in poor condition and it smells really bad you can see the tile it's kind of bowed over there if you can't see that on the camera so bathroom this is a uh, bedroom here they've got some shelving up they actually turned this into um into a laundry room however i would just call this a bedroom bedroom two on the main floor Now we'll head uh, to the breezeway and then we'll go upstairs. So breezeway in between the garage and the rest of the house. This is actually a nice living space. It is heated, so we can, we can count the square footage. I don't know what the PRD is gonna show. So we're gonna obviously need uh, painting. is a repair item um, that I don't know if you can quite tell but that's a branch that's come right through the roof so we would need a new roof and then there's some photos that I took showing that there's a bunch of moss growing on the roof as well on in another spot heading into the garage nice size garage um, same thing here, there's really nothing that I can tell that would be of any value. Seems like everything's all scrap. We need uh, to bid right away to have uh, this side door boarded. 
and we also need to bid to have this window over here boarded because these are two definite entryways directly into the house. All right, heading upstairs, replacement carpet. Let's call this a uh, thousand bucks. Damaged drywall and so damaged drywall and painting throughout. Let's go with uh, forty-five hundred. And the upstairs is uh, in nice shape. Wood floors are in good shape. Must have done some trim up here. This is probably a relatively recent remodel. Closet space. They've got a nice bathroom up here. Here's more closet space over here. This is that mossy area, if I don't know if you can see that through the window um, for the uh, roof. Bathroom is in uh, up here is actually in really nice condition. Just needs uh, little touch-ups and it'll it should be all set. As far as uh, bidding for the roof, why don't we do a bid for uh, removing all the trees, or excuse me, removing all the fallen trees and tarping the and tarping the roof. <clears throat> now we'll head outside and this is uh this is a uh heated i believe this porch it'd probably be really drafty but this porch is uh really nice back here there's no heat runs in here but my guess is that you could um that you could still count this square footage as well. All right, now we get to the back. There is a ton of leaves. I almost am wondering if we've got two seasons worth of leaves out here. As you see, there is just a ton of uh, debris um, that has fallen up on the roof. This is, you know, this is the breezeway up here. And then you've got the trees. There's a couple of pieces that have fallen through. And then you continue to see like all the trees that have fallen down. Okay, so as far as as far as uh, this property, a couple things that we want to bid on right away is we want to board one window and one door. Um, we have an electrical hazard downstairs for 400, and then we need to tarp the roof and remove the trees. I'm not sure what that would be at this point in time. And then we should also be looking at doing a fall cleanup. This is a fairly decent sized yard. I would think on a fall cleanup for something like this, other than the trees, um, that would probably be about uh, 350, especially because there's just excessive uh, leaves all over. And this is the front of the property.
One thing that you may notice in the background is that uh, the freeway, which is 696, is just maybe 100 yards away. It's by that brick wall that you might see back here. Other than that, it's a nice neighborhood, but that freeway will diminish the uh, uh, will diminish value by probably around uh, I'm gonna say five to ten percent for other values you may find more interior that's it